One of the things that I gathered from the text message is that part of the delay from your perspective was that Ms. Ortiz kind of changed her mind along yeah, the way. Yeah, a few times. Tell me about that. Um, like at first she wanted a desk, she wanted a desk on the uh, passenger side and then um, she decided to do it on the driver's side. That's just one change. Uh, the, the countertop, um, we decided to go with the butcher block. I went to the store, just looked through stuff. Just a couple, just little things here and there. All right, I'm gonna let Judge Corriero take it. Th thank you, Judge. Uh, Ms. Ortiz, your defense is here that the plaintiff didn't meet your requirements. You said his job was shoddy and that he didn't do it in the time frame that you had expected. Yes, sir. However, the contract that you signed did not indicate in any way that time was of the essence, that the job had to be completed by a specific time. It was open-ended. Correct. Moreover, the contract did not specify what the total cost would be. It was left open-ended based upon an hourly rate of Correct. $40 an hour. Correct. But you claim that we should hold the plaintiff responsible for failing to meet your deadline. Was the contract modified in any way to, not, to reflect Not that? on the contract, but we did have text back and forth. But it's not just, you know, the work that he did. It's the quality of the work that he did. Um, in some of the pictures you can even see, he put plumbing over the batteries and the wiring. There's exposed wiring everywhere. The, mm -hmm. the solar panels are not working. The um, fan's not working. Did you have a video? Absolutely, yes, sir. Okay. And the video demonstrates, from your point of view, the shoddiness yes, sir. of his work? Oh, yes, sir. Let's, let's take a look at it. So this is the condition of my van. This is how Nick left it, thinking that I was ready to hit the road. Um, basically nothing has been completed. There's gaps everywhere, unfinished wood everywhere. There's not even a door on them. Exposed wires everywhere. Exposed wire everywhere here. Again, my bench is not done. Pretty much nothing is done. He had this van for two months and this is how he left it today and said he's done. What was the date of this uh, video? It was October 11th was the last day that he worked on it. Mr. Batista, you saw that video? Yeah, the, the fan. The van wasn't finished. No, no, it wasn't finished. I didn't never say that it was finished. Why wasn't it finished? Because she decided, like we said before, the uh, date that she wanted to pick it up was the 10th, the 9th. It switched a couple times, but I couldn't finish all the work. When did you think timeline. you would have finished it by? Um, probably another week. Another week? Yeah. To, uh, Do you have employees? Uh, just uh, Sierra. Yeah. Your witness. Sierra, right? Yes. Would you come up, please? What is your responsibility? Um, basically, his assistant. Anything that he needs cut or handed to him or anything he needs, really, I help well, him do, with. do you know how to mechanically uh, transform these vans? Yes, yeah. I do. And what is your experience in doing that? Um, mostly, I help him cut the wood. I paint everything, stain it. I do more of the aesthetics. You gave her a bill. When did you give her the bill? I gave her the bill after I returned a few things. I didn't want to charge her for all the stuff that I had that I needed to return. You gave her a bill after the van was Two left days. in that condition? Two days after, yes. The bill was for over $10,000? Yes, and I discounted the price by 10% of labor, my own labor, because I know she was upset about a few things. How many hours of labor did you put in? I thought it was 196. Yeah, it was like 196. You have 196 times 40, what is that, $7,800? And you gave her a discount of how much? Uh, $840, 10% of my labor cost. So then finish she can she, use that she money, made. she can pay somebody else to finish off the stuff that and, she says that I did wrong. And how do you calculate your $3,000 that you're suing for? What does that represent? So if you take the total of the materials in the hour and you subtract the 7,500 that she gave me, then that's the, that amount.